In this video, we're going to be discussing the integration technique of partial fraction decomposition, which is a really useful technique for dealing with integrals of rational functions. So here I have an example of an integral of a rational function. Rational function means we have some polynomial divided by some polynomial. So before we look at what I might be able to do with this, let's just think about our previous techniques and maybe why they're not the best um, thing to use on this example. So we have to ask ourselves first, um, is there an antiderivative rule I could use? And in this case, there isn't. We don't have a rule for the antiderivative of this, this um, function that I'm given. Will u substitution work? Well, in this case, no, because if I let u be this denominator here, my du would be 2x plus 1, and I have x plus 5 up here. So that's not quite the right thing. Um, can I use integration by parts? Well, this is not really um, set up for the type that we um, want to apply integration by parts to. I don't have a product of two different kinds of functions. It's definitely not a trig integral. Um, when I come to thinking about whether I could use trig substitution on this, I do see that I have a quadratic, so I could go about completing the square. Um, so this could work, but there's no root. So do we have any other options? Maybe the lack of having some kind of square root there um, means that I might be able to do some kind of um, other algebra to deal with this situation. And it turns out that we can in fact write this fraction here um, as a sum of two different pieces. So notice that if I take this denominator here, this factors into x plus 2 and x minus 1, and it turns out that I can write that fraction as a sum of some number over x plus 2 plus some other number over x minus 1. Okay, And we could do some algebra to solve for what a and b would be. So this is the idea of partial fraction decomposition, that I can take a given rational function and write it as a sum of some simpler pieces. So I could take my, my integral here and integrate this number a over x plus 2 plus some number b over x minus 1. And each, uh, integrating each of these parts is much easier. So we need to talk about when I can um, do this sort of partial fraction decomposition and what these, these terms that I would add together will look like for different types of rational functions. So let's go into this in a little bit more detail. Okay, so what's the big idea of, of um, this partial fraction decomposition? Well, the idea is that we want to write a rational function some function f of x that's equal to some polynomial p divided by some polynomial q. As a sum of some simpler rational functions. As we saw in that previous example. Okay. So the question is, can we always do this? Or are there certainly certain situations when we can do this? So when can we do this breakdown? Okay, so we're going to be able to write a rational function as a sum of some simpler rational functions if the degree of the numerator, the degree of p, okay, is less than the degree of the denominator. Degree is the highest power of x that appears. Okay. In this case, we call the rational function proper. So we're getting a little bit of terminology here. Okay. So you can compare this to your idea of um, proper and improper fractions with numbers. Okay. So recall things like two-thirds, one-half are proper fractions. Okay, We're just extending this idea to polynomials. So a proper um, rational function, I should say extending this to rational functions, a proper rational function will have the um, polynomial on the, on the top have a lower degree, highest power of x than the denominator on the bottom. Okay, so. What are we going to do if we're not in this situation? 
if f is improper, the function that we're given, okay, meaning the degree of the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of the denominator, we'll need to first do long division. Okay, so we're going to look at one example where we do some long division with a polynomial, but just to compare this to the idea of um, fractions with numbers here, you know, if we have something like 5 fourths, that's improper, but if I do 5 divided by 4, that equals 1, you know, plus 1 fourth. So that will be the idea with um, our rational functions as well, is I can do this long division and write it as a whole piece plus a fractional proper piece. Okay, an example of something that's um, an improper uh, rational function would be something like x squared plus 5 over x plus 1, whereas something that's a proper rational function would be something like x over x squared plus 5 here. So with this x over x squared plus 5, x has degree 1, x squared plus 5 has degree 2, and 1 is less than 2. With this x squared plus 5 over x plus 1, x squared again, degree 2, x plus 1, degree 1. So I have a bigger degree um, in the numerator. Okay. So if we have something that's proper, we're going to be able to follow a certain procedure to break it up into smaller pieces. If it's improper, we have to do an initial first step of doing long division. So let's just um, see one example where we practice doing that. So I've got an improper rational function here, x to the fourth plus x plus 5 over x cubed plus 3. This numerator here has degree 4, because the highest power of x is 4. The denominator here is degree 3, because I have my highest power of x being 3. Okay. So let's look at doing this um, long division. So I'm going to do x to the fourth plus x plus 5 divided by x cubed plus 3. Okay. I have to think about how many times x cubed plus 3 goes into x cubed plus x plus 5. Well, to get this um, power here of x to the fourth, I'd have to multiply x cubed by x. So we say it goes in at least x times here. So we do x times x cubed plus 3. So that's x to the fourth plus 3x. We subtract that part, just like we would in regular long division with numbers x to the fourth minus x to the fourth gives us 0x to the fourth. Then I have x minus 3x. It's negative 2x. I check that that is a lower degree than what I had up here with x cubed plus 3. And I also bring down this 5, the next term that I have here. So I know that I'm done because this is lower degree. Whoops, lower degree than x cubed plus 3. So I can write this fraction here as x plus this negative 2x plus 5 over x cubed plus 3. Okay. And now this second term here is proper, and I could use a procedure for partial fraction decomposition on this second term. Okay. Just for comparison with numbers, if I had the case of 5 fourths, 5 divided by 4, go, 4 goes into 5 once. We multiply the 1 times 4, I have a remainder of 1. And then I can say 5 fourths equals 1 plus this remainder of 1 over 4. Okay, so it's a similar idea. So we won't regularly have to do long division, only in um, some cases where we might have an improper rational function to start with.